Hey, it's Mr. Barr, and in this lesson, we are going to be creating the explicit formulas for geometric and arithmetic sequences. As you recall, the explicit formula is the one where you plug numbers in and you get numbers out. You don't have to keep looking backwards. So our learning goal is I can use exponential functions to model real life situations. Why exponential functions show up in science and economics, I want to understand how they are used. So creating the explicit formulas for arithmetics and geometrics. So let's start with our name on the notes. And I'll simplify the title a little bit. So we're going to be creating the explicit formulas for the arithmetics and the geometrics. So we know that the arithmetic sequence is one where we keep adding or subtracting, right? So if you look here, it's 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. And we call that a common difference, the idea that it's plus 3 plus 3. Or on the second one here, it's what's that? Minus, minus 8, minus 8, minus 8. So it's got a common difference. For the geometrics, it's being multiplied. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2. We have a common ratio. It's either multiplying or dividing. Right here, divided by 3, divi actually divided by negative 3, divided by negative 3, divided by negative 3. So the, common, the arithmetics have a common difference, and the geometrics have a common ratio. Well. Using those differences and ratios, we can build the formula. So here's our arithmetic explicit formula. You ready for this? Arithmetic formula. Where's my, where am I writing? Here we go. Arith. And I'm going to give you a sequence that goes with this. We'll use this one, 1, 4, 7, 10, 13. And we need a couple of things. We need the value of the first term and the common difference. We need the value of the first term and the common difference. And once you have those things, once you have the value of the first term and the common difference, you can build the formula for it. And here is the formula. A sub n which is the output equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So we're going to plug in the first term and the common difference, and we build our formula. So in this case, what is the value of the first term? Let me bring it up here. What's the value of the first term? The value of the first term is 1. So we're going to put a 1 right here. So a sub n equals the value of the first term, which is 1, plus n minus 1 times the common difference. In this case, what's the difference? Plus 3, plus 3, plus 3. This formula will give you any term you want. If I plug in a 2, I should get a 4. Let's see what happens. 2 minus 1 is 1, times 3 is 3, plus 1 is 4. 
It worked. If I plug in a 5, I should get a 13. Let's see if it works. 5 minus 1 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. Plus 1 is 13. It works. We can simplify this a little bit if we do some distribution. So I'm going to distribute the 3, and we're just going to simplify this down a little bit. That's going to become 1 plus 3n minus 3. And now we'll combine terms. And we're going to be left with a sub n equals 3n minus 2. Right? Negative 3 plus the 1 is the negative 2. And that function is going to give me any term I want. So let's see. Can I show you the... I can't show it to you anymore. Ah, right about there. Is it all on the screen? So if I plug in a 1, what comes out? 3 times 1 minus 2 is 1. If I plug in a 2, out, you know, let's plug in a 4. If I plug in a 4, out comes a 10. 3 times 4 is 12, minus 2 is 10. Boom. This function is creating that sequence. It worked. This is for the arithmetic, only arithmetic. There's also a geometric. Actually, before I do that, let's um, do this one. Let's we'll see if it really works. So what do I need? I need the value of the first term, so a sub 1 equals 3, and my difference in this case is 3. So a sub 1 is 3, plus n minus 1, <coughs> excuse me, times 3. Little distribution, 3 plus 3n minus 3, little combining like terms, it's just 3n. So a sub n equals 3n. Does it work? If I plug in a 1, out comes a 3. If I plug in a 2, out comes a 6. Plug in a 3, out comes a 9. I plug in a 4, out comes a 12. It's working. Good. That works. The geometric requires the first term and the ratio. So this is the geometric formula. So let's start with the geometric that looks like, let's go with, I will do 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. The formula for this is a sub n equals a sub 1 ratio to the n minus 1. Now on the other one, did I do it in terms of a's or in terms of t's? I can't recall. Okay, we did A's. So I plug in the value of the first term, and I plug in the ratio. Right, so this guy right here, value of first term. And this guy is the ratio. And it gives me the formula. So a sub n equals 2, ratio in this case is 2, n minus 1. Value of the first term, ratio, and it works. Let's plug in a 1. If I plug in a 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, 2 to the 0 is 1, times 2 is 2. It worked. Let's find the fourth term. Ready? The fourth term, 4 minus 1 is 3, 2 to the third is 8, times 2 is 16. It's working. Okay, let's build this one. What's the value of the first term? The value of the first term is 16. 
What's the ratio? Well, the ratio here is divided by two, divided by two, which is a half, right? Times a half, times a half. N minus one. There it is, done. First term, ratio, N minus one. Instead of a one half, if you wanted to go with a 0.5, you could also do that. Right. What's going on here? Is this arithmetic or geometric? Well, this is arithmetic, so we know that it's a sub n equals a sub 1 plus what? n minus 1 times the difference. All right, is that what we wrote in our notes? I'm going to check. n minus 1. Yep. a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times the difference. Let's plug in the numbers. Value of the first term is 5. And minus 1, the difference is 5. Let's do a little distribution. 5 plus 5n minus 5. These guys are going to cancel, and I'm just left with a sub n equals 5n. If I plug in a 1, out comes a 5. I plug in a 2, out comes a 10. I plug in a 3, out comes a 15. This one is geometric. Our geometric formula is a sub n equals a sub 1 ratio raised to the n minus 1 power. The value of the first term is 1. The ratio is 5. n minus 1. a sub n equals 1 times 5 raised to the n minus 1 power. If I plug in, let's plug in a 3. Let's plug in a 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. 5 squared is 25. Out came 25. It's working. Ooh, what's going on with this one? Arithmetic or geometric? Well, it looks like it's going down by 61, down by 61. So it's arithmetic. So a sub n equals a sub 1, n minus 1 times the difference. Value of the first term is negative 61. The difference is negative 61. Little distribution, negative 61 plus negative 61n plus 61, canceling out, negative 61n. If I plug in a 1, out comes a negative 61. If I plug in a 2, out comes a negative 122. If I plug in a 3, out comes a negative 183. So it seems to be working. Yep, there it is. Arithmetic or geometric? Ah, times 3, times 3. Looks like it's a geometric. So a sub n equals a sub 1 ratio n minus 1. a sub 1 is 6. The ratio is 3. n minus 1. Looks good. And that's my last slide. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.